Shop Stuff video demonstration of the Sharp XEA 307 cash register. In this video we're going to take a closer look at the reporting functionality on the 307. First thing to notice is that 307 is a twin roll cash register, so you have a printer for your receipts, so you can give a customer receipt with every sale, but also on the right hand side you have a audit or journal roll. Journal roll. This is a kind of like a summary or a copy of every transaction that the till does so if you put through a sale that's recorded on the journal roll if you re open the till without putting a sale through that's recorded on the journal roll likewise any programming that you do any reporting that you do it's all recorded on the journal roll so to start with you get a journal roll we have a look at the report mode on the till so we go to X1Z1 mode, you can see here you have what's called a flash read. So we can go in there and we can either do it by department. So let's look in the goods department and that tells us that at this point we've taken that much money through the goods department. So that's like a flash report, you can, it'll also tell you how much cash you've currently got in your drawer without opening the till and you also get a sales total for the day. So that is the money that you've taken so far today. So they're flash reports that you've been able to do without opening the drawer or doing any printing. The next level of reporting that you can do is a reading report, commonly called an X report. So if we do a general X1 report, this is um, like an end of day sales report, except that it hasn't reset. So we could say at one o'clock every day, halfway through trading, we're going to do an X1 report to see how much money's been taken on the till. So we see at this top it's got the date and time, it's got the operator name, and then you have X1, and then it's got all the sales that you've put through each department. So we can see so far today we've put 122 sales through the goods department with a total value of £1,329.30, and then that's accounted for 99.42% of today's department sales thus far. It then totals all the departments. You have the tax breakdown if you've got that programmed on the till. Number of people served, number of no sales, and then you have your cash in draw totals at the bottom as well. Okay, so that's your X report. Now that doesn't affect the end of day sales report, which you can also do. So if we escape cancel, go down to resetting. You then, in the resetting mode, this is your Z1 end of day report. You can produce a general report which is exactly the same as the X report, except it will have reset. And then you can also do a PLU report. You don't have to do this daily. You can do this weekly, monthly, as long as you do it the same period of time each time. So if you did the PLU report every Friday at five o'clock, it would become, in essence, a weekly PLU report. So if we do the report now, we'll do it just by range. It will print out your standard PLUs and also your barcode products. So if we have a quick look at what prints out, we can see that we've got two normal PLUs that we've sold. So PLU1 is called product, we've sold 502 of those, we've sold 21 penny sweets. And then we see below we've got EAN, so this is all the barcode products that we've sold. So we can see that the beetroot pack, we've sold 23 of those. Uh, the price and then the same for all the barcode products and then also a total for barcode products and also for PLU um, normal PLU products as well as this on the 307 you have a clerk report so you can do a report by operator so it'll tell you how much each operator's taken how many no sales they've done and all that type of information you can do an hourly report as well Have a quick look at that or break down where your sales have been done so you can work out what your busiest times of day are. That's all shown on there. The biggest advantage of the 307, as well as having your journal report, your X report and your Z report, is that the machine has an SD card slot on the front of it. So you can basically set the machine to every time you do a Z report, you can pull the information to an SD card, which means you can then pop it into a PC and you've got all that information in Excel spreadsheets which you can then save and file away. For more information on the Sharp XCA 307, please visit the main ShopStuff website, which is shopstuff.co.uk, or view more videos at ShopStuff LTD on YouTube. Thanks for watching.